Today we'll be going over the new tabs functionality in the latest version of Lightburn. Let's take for example that you've got this dinosaur puzzle. You'd like to cut out each of these shapes and have them contained in this larger section of panel that's cut out from your material and have them not fall out. Now the way that you can do that is with tabs. A tab is basically just a small section of any path where the laser skips cutting for a brief distance that allows that shape to stay connected to the overall sheet that it was cut from without falling out, but for it to be able to be pushed out of the sheet relatively easily. This was something that could be somewhat simulated with the perforations options previously, but the new tabs feature is much more suited to the task. Now before we move on, you may need to go to settings and uncheck beginner mode, otherwise the tabs features will not show up. Now that we've done that, you can see there is now an Add Tabs button over on the toolbar. So to add tabs, you can click on that. You must select the shapes you want to add tabs to first. As you can see, these are grouped. That's okay, this will work across any level of grouping. You can also do a box selection of the shapes that you'd like to add tabs to. And then simply hover over a shape, look for that tabs cursor that shows up, and click along the path where you'd like to add a tab. Now you may want to know what this looks like in practice, so we're going to go to preview. We're going to zoom in on that vertebrae section. There's not much to see at first, but once I get closer you can see here there's a small section that it skips. This tab is currently only set to 0.5 millimeters in width, and the size that that needs to be will depend somewhat upon the material that you're using, the thickness of that material. It's something that you'll have to play with a little bit to get it just right so that the parts pop out without causing any issues. You can also click and immediately move a tab. And you can see that blue denotes that it is currently being moved. You can click on an existing tab and move it, including to other shapes. Again, those shapes have to be previously selected by the tabs tool. You can double click to remove a tab. You can shift click to remove a tab. And another thing to note with manually adding tabs is that if I come over here and hover over the text, you'll see there's a warning cursor instead of the usual tabs cursor. That's because if we look over in the cuts and layers window, the blue cut layer is set to fill. Note that tabs will only work with line mode, not fill, and not fill end line. Now, adding all of these manually to the entire sheet would be kind of a pain, and we've got you covered there. So if instead we double click on the cut layer, you can see that there's now this tab generation section. It's default set to manual, and there's that 0.5 millimeters that I mentioned earlier. But instead, we can click on automatic, and it will automatically populate tabs across everything within this specific cut layer. Right now, we're set to even spacing, 50 millimeters apart. I can change that to whatever I want. And as you can see, it's going to place them every 40 millimeters in this case, and that is basically it breaks down each shape into its smallest contiguous path, and then we'll place a tab every 40 millimeters along that path. And note here, the green marks denote that it's an automatic tab as opposed to a manual tab, which you saw previously. Another option, which is sometimes helpful for designs like this, is instead of even spacing, to use tabs per shape. So I'm gonna click on that option, it defaults to one, but I think that three will probably work better for this. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Those should stay in there without falling out, but be easy enough to pop out. And the last option that I'm gonna show you right now is the skip inner shapes option. Now, if I click on that, that's not exactly what you would expect, but I did this very intentionally to make a point here. So for now, we're gonna cancel out of this. And the reason why all of the tabs in the middle disappeared is that skip inner shapes will look at an entire cut layer and any shapes that are completely contained by another shape, for example, this border that we're gonna cut everything out of, any shape that's inside of that will have the tabs skipped on it. So the solution to that is we need to basically just select this outer border and then move it to another cut layer. Once we've done that, we can go back into the cut settings. We can turn automatic tabs back on. We'll go back to tabs per shape and I can select skip inner shapes. And now if you'll notice, 
This skull section is actually the one that I wanted to do this for. There are these intersections that it doesn't really matter if those parts fall out as long as the overall shape stays within that sheet. And this allows us to skip those tabs on those intersections. Now another thing that you can do, let's say that we've got these automatic tabs added. I'm going to select all of the shapes again. Well, try to. There we go. We've got all the shapes selected. And I don't like this tab right here on the tooth. I'm worried about that breaking something. Well, I can just click, drag it, it turns blue to show that it's being moved, and move it over there onto the nose of the skull. And as you can see, all of these tabs have turned red, denoting that they're now manual. A layer can have either automatic or manual tabs, but not both, so moving them will automatically change it. And you can confirm that going into the cut settings, it's changed it back to manual. You can still see it's grayed out, tabs for shape three, but we switch back to manual mode, which th means that they're just placed wherever we put them. So for example, you can add more tabs to a shape if you think it needs it. You can remove tabs from a shape if you think that it needs it. Now, another thing to note, now that these are all manual, if we go back to the cut settings, we can switch them back to automatic. However, if there are manual tabs placed, it will warn you because it's going to remove any manually placed tabs and it will go back to fully automatic mode. So you may lose some of your placements. That's why it's confirming this. So I can click yes and confirm that. The other option here is that there is clear tabs. So if at this point I've decided I don't want any tabs on this cut layer, I can click on clear tabs. And now you can see I'm still in tab mode, but we can't see any tabs here. They're all gone. So that's it for the tabs feature. Thanks for watching.